some new tires. And they came with rims. <laughs> What is handle folks welcome by the channel hope others are just doing good you feel me so uh, the deal on the b18 fell apart no big deal um, that leaves me um, some money to do some things with the wagon that I've been sleeping on and also with the Nissan leaf uh, the leaf needs new tires and this car has 16s on it with brand new tires and the leaf has 16s on it with garbage tires um, so what I'm thinking about doing is copping this set of rims. I'm going to go look at it right now. And um, if everything looks good with the rims, there's no deep curbs or obvious bends or anything. Uh, the tires are pretty much brand new, and those are 15. So, And I think the, the, the rims that I'm going to be getting look pretty good on an EF chassis anyway. So, And also, they're, they're one of my favorite sets of rims, OEM style rims. So I'll let you guys comment below and guess what um, you think the rims are there OEM Honda or Acura rims but I'm gonna go meet up with this guy right now and hopefully when I come back I'll have some rims it's a good thing I had my bike because we were gonna meet up at the school parking lot across the street and I took these out and threw them on the top of my car and I gotta go double back and go get them real quick Nissan Leaf is a unit. All right, got them all back home. I'm gonna give them a quick wash. Got all the center caps. The tires are pretty much like brand new. I think I got a pretty good deal on this. What? These came out pretty good. Um, I was kind of worried because of how dirty some of them were that maybe they was hiding some, but these are. I'll give these like a solid like 8 out of 10. Um, this center cap has some weird stuff going on with some sort of wear on the plastic, but it is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it. I was thinking about painting these, but now that I see how clean they are washed, I think I'm just going to leave them alone and keep them OEM status. But that's definitely a come up. I mean, the tires alone, like I said earlier, probably are worth around 150 bucks. Just like that, it's nighttime. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out this side. Uh, I could probably do both sides at once. If I got enough space here. Now that I'm going to put these on, I'm really seeing some defects with the with the uh, faces of these things. So the guy definitely wasn't completely honest. But again, for the price, yeah, look at that paint. Just he didn't even do a good job painting over the existing stuff. Just kind of. It's a bummer, but I mean, like I said, for the price alone, for the, the tires, it's whatever to me. So stuff that wasn't recorded was me describing a problem with my Canon M50, I believe it is. Uh, I, I kept getting this message saying that it couldn't write fast enough, and so I was missing a whole bunch of stuff, and I kept going back trying to re-record it, and eventually I gave up. That does look pretty cool. You can see the caliper with these rims. I think I probably missed that. Battery died, but that's why you use jack stands, folks.
Aaron these puppies. First thing I didn't think about, the fact that the center caps won't fit because I got extended lugs. Um, second thing I didn't really consider when I was, I mean I considered it, but he did a pretty decent job covering up what he did to these rims. And you can see all the fine, all the fine grain scratches here. One of these is not like the other extended stud problems. All right, trying a different SD card because I have no other choice here. The only thing I can think of that's causing the problem is the fact that I've been using the same SD card for the GoPro and a, another camera and maybe that's causing like a formatting issue. I'm at 22 seconds with this one, so let's see. So, one of these rims is not like the other, and that is because I have extended studs on the front here, and honestly if these rims were not so rare, I wouldn't think twice about just drilling holes in the front of these, um, and having the uh, lugs stick out, but even if I wanted to do that, taking them off would be like, it'd be weird. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a job well done here. I gotta continue to put more air in the back uh, passenger side, so note to self on that. One minute recording, all right, so we're good, we're back. All right, so uh, I don't know how much of the video got deleted, how much of the stuff was recorded for that matter, um, but yeah, I got the GSR Starfish um, rims on the wagon here. Um, the guy, I, I, I'm not going to say he pulled a fast one on me because I was going to buy these regardless. Um, now that I know that the B18 is not going to be a thing. Uh, my boy already moved with it to Texas. He's already, he just landed, so I'm glad he had a safe trip down there and all that. Um, but yeah, I was going to, I've been waiting to buy these pending me buying the uh, B18 and so since that deal fell through I was able to buy these today and um, as I mentioned at least I tried to mention I don't know how much I mentioned was actually recorded but I got these for a really sweet deal and to me alone just for the tires alone 150 bucks for four tires um, that's like what like it's less than 50 bucks a tire that's for, that's for certain and these things are chunky with threads it's not the ideal tire size these are uh, either 205 55 yeah 205 55 15s um, so I'm gonna be having some issues here but since this car is already raised up to support the uh, 16 inch rims on there I'm not concerned about any rubbing issues I got plenty of space up in there um, but yeah so you can see you know just blemishes and stuff that was just painted over I don't even know how you'd get scratches up inside of here so um, I think they probably just painted over dirt and grime in some of these spots but um, yeah the right when I put these on the wheel hub here paint immediately cracked off of the insides where the um, lug nuts go and I'm not a hundred percent certain with these lug nuts if they are gonna work out properly or not I'll do a test drive tomorrow probably um, I might just do one right now um, but aside from that yeah I mean rear rims not perfect over 20 years old probably at this point I think um, Facebook marketplace for you but I'm not too disappointed at all um, as I mentioned before at the beginning of the video I'm just gonna recap um, these tires are gonna be coming off and going on the leaf or I will just end up buying some new tires for the leaf 
I haven't really decided quite yet, um, but that was the initial thought process behind grabbing them. And just that, I mean, 100, 100 bucks for the set of rims alone, even if they are damaged a little bit, is worth it. Um, yeah, they look, they look nice, you know? You did do a pretty decent job painting them. And, um, yeah, fooled me. Again, I didn't really spend more than, I don't know, 20 seconds looking at these things. Just making sure that there was no visible deep gashes, like curb brashes, and there was no visible bends in any of these. So that alone is a W. Um, you know, sometimes if you take multiple L's, you can take them and form a W with them. If you take two L's, you can make them into a W. <laughs> so... Yeah, fun stuff, good times, we're having fun here. It's just nice to actually do something on this wagon. Um, get something new for it going. So, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here, you guys. Um, I will wrap up the moped video probably tomorrow and uh, get some ride around footage of that thing. And hopefully that gets sold soon and then um, yeah I should have enough money to buy all the stuff I need to rebuild the B18 I do have already and the only issue is going to be finding a machine shop I reached out to uh, another uh, one of my old friends um, he recently got his B18 head resurfaced I, I haven't heard back from him yet um, if I did the comment wasn't notified to me so I'll reach out to him again see where he got his head resurfaced at and then um, from there out just figuring out what needs to be done to the block to get everything going so yeah uh, hope you guys like this little video I hope you guys like these rims uh, if you don't I do and that's what really matters yeah Hemi but yeah I am not too mad Photo shoot with them. I am kind of bummed that I had a, a brain fart moment and forgot about the extended studs though because I did kind of want them to have center caps, but it is what it is. You cannot complain when you are me because can't be too mad because, like I said, it is what it is, folks. I think they look good and you can, I get the dope caliper shots, you know? Check out my brake system, yo. Alright, enough of that. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yerp.